Hey guys, this is Spree, and um, I will be unboxing uh, my new Powerlight Home Cinema 1040. This is a 1080p uh, model. Uh, I recently purchased the the model before this, which was a 720p. The picture was amazing, and I figured I figured it was only going to be a little bit more money, so I might as well go for the 1080p version. I can only imagine how crystal clear this is going to look. So. Uh, I wanted to do this video because I know that these types of videos have helped me in the in the past to make a decision on many different types of purchases. So I hope to make it as helpful as possible. Again, this is the 1080p version. This is a 3000 uh, lumen on the whites and the colors. Okay, so this is what uh, comes in the box. We have a power cord. We have our remote control. Comes with the batteries, which is very cool. And we have our booklet slash manual also has a set of instructions there's also a disc in here for you to use to set up on your computer if you want to be mirroring okay so this is it let me go ahead and move this box out of the way so it's about the same size as the last model that I had which was the uh, 720p model uh, it might be a little bit, uh, have a little more depth to it. Clear all this stuff out. Okay, so uh, right uh, off the back, I can see that this is the audio, audio video mute, which is pretty much a slide that kind of closes off the picture if you need to shut it down for uh, for a little. Also, it protects the lens. Uh, right up here, it'll describe the HDMI compatibility, full HD, 3 LCD technology. Uh, we have our infrared pointer here. And we have an adjustable leg to help with adjusting your picture, depending if uh, on what type of screen you have, if it's low or high. That's very helpful to get the perfect, uh, the perfect picture there. Uh, on the top here, we have our digital zoom, um, which will bring us in and out. And also we have a slide for the lens shift uh, that is very helpful. This is a left to right uh, lens shift. This is if you're projecting on the side of a wall or on a uh, slanted wall to, so that they, um, the projector will uh, project the picture correctly. Okay, we'll turn it around here so we can see the buttons on top. Uh, it appears that we have a, a status light here. I'm assuming this is going to change different colors depending on what status uh, the projector is currently in. Uh, we have our lamp light, our temperature light. We have our power button, our home button, our source button. There's a menu button right on top as well as the volume. Uh, the, uh, the volume to adjust right on the machine. There is one speaker in this one. I wouldn't really depend on it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the best speaker in the world. Um, but... Uh, if you're getting a projector, you might as well have a surround sound to go with it. Uh, we also have um, we have lens shift keys on top for uh, it looks like vertical lens shifts, all right. And we have our escape button. It does make mention here that this is the Powerlight Home Cinema 1040. On the back here, we have several ways that you can connect to this uh, projector. Uh, we do have the power cable, which goes in right here on the left side. We have the USB, which is compatible with your Fire Stick, your Roku Stick, um, so that you can stream directly to the projector. This helps, especially if you don't want to have a lot of wires going around and you're only going to be using this for movies. Um, we do have two HDMI ports. The previous model I had only had one, so having two is very helpful if you have different... Uh, devices that you want to connect so you don't have to keep switching them out. Um, it also has a infrared sight on this side in case you are 
pointing that remote at the back of this if you have it mounted upside down. Uh, we have our audio video cables if you choose to connect that way. Uh, okay, and we also have our component VGA here for your computer. And uh, we also have another way that you could connect, uh, which would be considered a RCA, oh, this would be a RCA cable, or the S video cable actually. This is the S video cable right on the top. Uh, that's it for the back. I don't see anything else there. Uh, let's just look underneath really quickly. Okay, uh, we have our mounting hole. This would be for the bracket when you, if you decide to mount this on the ceiling, which I think is a good idea. I think I'm gonna go that way only because I do have kids and I don't want them to get to it. It'll be safe up high. And I think it actually projects a better picture looking downward. Uh, yeah, it looks like you have your service number down here. If you have any issues, you can call Epson uh, directly. And well, we have our stickers with our serial numbers. Okay, um, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit more uh, about the projector. Um, this model is not 3D, alright, it is a 3000 lumen, uh, the model, uh, color brightness and white brightness, both 3000 lumen. It is a 15,000 to 1 contrast ratio. Maximal, maximum viewable screen size is 300 inches. Okay, and that's with a, a maximum distance of 36 feet. And a minimum distance of 2.85 feet. Okay, uh, the lamp is a 200 watt UHE. The lamp life is rated at 10,000 hours, which is awesome. Something that you definitely want to look at when buying a projector, because the lamps can be kind of pricey. I mean, I've seen them go up to from one to about two to three hundred dollars. The throw ratio on this particular model is 1.38 zoom wide and 1.68 zoom telephoto. The display, uh, display type is uh, 3 LCD, aspect ratio 16 by 10. The resolution is 1920 by 1200. This model is a three chip technology. Uh, and it does have digital keystone correction. Again, this is the 1080p uh, vertical uh, resolution model. Okay, you do have the VGA connection, the HDMI, USB, uh, RCA, and VGA. Uh, I believe that's it. I mean, this model particularly weighs about five pounds, so it's not uh, too heavy. There are other models out there that I know are a little bit uh, heavier. Uh, just to point out a couple more things, seems to be uh, a duck here for the fan. These things can get a little bit hot. I don't exactly know what this is, but I believe this would. This is some sort of filter. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a filter. Uh, that catches the dust and keeps it away from the lens. I'll just put that back. Uh, I'm very excited about this uh, projector um, because it is uh, full 1080p and I am very excited to see what the picture is going to look like on it. Um, so we're going to cut out. I'm going to give you a quick display on my wall and uh, we'll, we'll see how it looks. Um, Okay, we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to you watching Avatar. Uh, this is being played through my Xbox One. It is a Blu-ray copy. It's being projected directly onto my wall. The image that you're seeing is about 120 inches in diagonal. So it's a pretty big screen. Later on, I'll do a comparison by standing in front of it so that you can see how, how big it is. Uh, I will be posting other videos, uh, a lot of gameplay videos as well. So you can see how the games look on here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the uh, comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Enjoy the video and the images. Hit that like button and subscribe. Oh, also worth mentioning is that the sound that you do hear coming from this is coming from the projector. It's not that bad, actually. Thanks. Enjoy.